Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be noise testing an ESC and I know I haven't done this in a while, but expect a lot of it to come very soon. Well, the next couple days because I just got a bunch of ESCs and I've been testing. Today we have the Akon AK32. Now this was requested quite a lot actually. So this thing comes with a 5 volt regulator on board. It does have current sensing, but the current sensing is just for the overall power. So you have a dedicated wire just for the current sensor as you can tell right here. So if we open an instruction manual, you can kind of get an idea. So the current, so there's one wire for the current. So if we flip this over, you get one wire for the current, one wire for telemetry. The telemetry output is going to be the RPM, possibly temperature. And we have our four ESCs, five volt, uh, battery voltage and then two ground pads so it's pretty basic in that perspective it is using pretty big mosfets and it is rated up to a 6s so this will be going into my 6s shootout and if you want to see anything else into the 6s four in one esc shootout let me know down in the comment section now as you can tell here the regulator part is kind of modular for some reason i don't know why they did that maybe they were experimenting so they had these manufactured and then they're like, oh, let's try different things and see what we can do. I, I don't know what they did, but the amount of filtration looks pretty good. I expected to see a little bit more. And let's take a look at some of the things it comes with before we go ahead and start testing this thing. We get a Rubicon 330 microfarad low ESR capacitor, which is a 35 volt one. Two silicone power cables and the connector here. And we also get five rubber grommets here. So this will be soft mounted if you wanted to do that, which is kind of recommended because these are four millimeter holes. All right, so enough talking. Let's go get it tested. Alright guys, so the results are in and it's looking really good. It's actually doing really, really well. Alright, so let's talk about what we're looking at here. So on the top, we have the throttle noise. So this is 10% throttle, 25, 50, 75, and 100% throttle. Both of these are exactly the same one, is just colored, so we kind of get an idea where the voltage was at most of the time. Bottom is the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Uh, this is just simulating a super aggressive flight here, and um, it just gives us a good representation of what's really going on. Now, I like to do the throttle noise test to simulate if we might get some throttle oscillations due to electrical noise, and that's what kind of what, what really shows us uh, in these two graphs here, or these two pictures. All right, so uh, for the noise, the throttle noise, it's looking really great. It's with the top ESCs, and we're going to go ahead and start comparing in a bit. Um, you can see the fact that there isn't really much noise going here. You want to obviously see this as flat as possible. And around 75% throttle is where all ESCs are the most noisy. And here it's looking really great. You're not going to have, or you have a very low chance of getting mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise with this ESC on a 4S setup. On the bottom also, it's looking pretty good. And uh, let's start putting this into reference. So let's start with the DalRC rocket. So it's in the same league here. So let's go ahead and bring in the, we'll do the noise simulated aggressive flight maneuvers and we'll also do the throttle here. All right, so now on the left, we have the DalRC rocket. This is the top end of the rocket. So as you can tell here, that in terms of throttle, I mean, these really are so such minute things that they, they don't really translate into real life. But here, while we're looking at this, the Acon is doing better. Um, not by much, but it's doing better. On the bottom, also it's doing better in the noise. And again, don't forget, these are the top ESCs. So uh, they're all about the same. As you can tell here, there isn't, on the Acon, there isn't many voltage spikes, which is really nice. And also the voltage drops are pretty good as well. But you can kind of see that the voltage was here was fluctuating at a pretty high frequency. And we kind of saw that in the video feed. You could kind of see this because um, 
let me just show you something for example so i'll figure out another example as we go along hopefully we'll see one of those escs so i can give you a better idea of what i'm talking about here so let's go ahead and remove the dell rc rocket so it's it's a bit better than a dell rc rocket but they're in the same league here uh let's go ahead and bring in for example the dys aria 4 and one which was a huge letdown in my opinion compared to its single esc brother here so now on the left we have the dollar c uh dys aria so as you can tell this is something you don't want to see and this is something that you want to see and again this is something you don't want to see and this is something you want to see so you can kind of get an idea the dys aria wasn't really great especially the foreign one uh the foreign one wasn't great but the singles were pretty good all right so let's go ahead and bring in hmm all right so i have another really nice comparison the ori 32 stack i'll have this one linked down below this is a 20 by 20 stack it's pretty crazy i mean it's just it surprises me to this day don't this is a tiny 20 by 20 stack look at it it's competing with the 30 by 30s which is pretty damn crazy soon i'll test the akon 20 by 20 as well and then we'll have a good comparison maybe we have an ori 32 killer but the ori 32 is a beast and um yeah it's just a beast so i'm going to bring in also the tico 32 as well as the t-motor f45 amp and 55 amp now guys if this help, this content does help you avoid or make a purchase please consider using the links down below this greatly support the channel guys and let's go ahead and bring in the t-motor f45 amp 4-in-1 esc so this is a new one that was released and as you can tell i have it i think on one of my quads currently i don't remember if i do or i have the f55 amp so the t-motor f45 amp is also pretty good um as you can tell here it's competing but it's kind of like it kind of feels sloppy here i don't know why it does that but you know both of these are basically both are really good they're, they're both just good escs i mean you're not going to go wrong with choosing them but i'm just doing this so you can't get an idea or just get a reference and then you decide for yourself all right so here's a t-motor f55 amp esc this one is uh like one of the top top escs i'd consider especially for 6s since i've used on the 6s now as you can tell here the t-motor f55 amp is much cleaner and why do i say that because you can see what the motor is doing through the voltage so the voltage really shows you what's really going on here you see this little part right here oh sorry about that here you don't really know what's going on and what do i mean by this well right now when there's no throttle being applied it's just a flat line like that here and as soon as you give it some throttle for example 100 percent throttle look how low it dips here so it's the same thing here so here we had maybe like 10 percent throttle boom 100 percent throttle around 50 75 percent throttle you know and you get the idea here but here it's kind of difficult to make out it still ran pretty good but it does have a very low high frequency noise and that is the huge red mark right here so let me show you a really ugly low frequency noise this is a pretty high frequency which means it's just going up and down really really fast uh here's a spedex this this is a really kind of low high <laughs> this is really terrible this was the spedex is 34 one esc i got a lot of shit for saying it's not a good esc i don't know why but obviously it doesn't seem like it's a good esc at all um so as you can tell this is something you really don't want to see now i don't know the price difference between the akon and the t motor but the t motor is slightly better but in real world you, you're not really going to notice that much but on the five on the 6s shootout that's when we're going to see and you can tell the t motor is, is, is a bit cleaner also on the throttle noise test as you can tell the amplitude is much you want to see the red as thin as possible and you can kind of see that 100 percent throttle right there you see that and you see this here and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll have a link to everything down below especially the top escs so if you click those before you make a purchase that'll be super great and um well that's it guys i'll see you in the next one peace out